Hey guys, so it's Star Wars Day and we're super excited because we're gonna do a video today, the Star Wars theme. So may the 4th be with you. Um, Chase is actually extra excited. He came in this morning early so that he could get some work done. Um, we have a little bit of time to film this afternoon. Looking forward to this. You rebel scum. Hey man, you uh, in the same room a little early this morning. I was just working. These are the morphs we're looking for. All right, guys, so we're excited. Today we get a chance to show off a project that we recently acquired that's really, really, really interesting. And we get to show a special Morphs 101 for Star Wars. This is the Wookiee project. And, uh, so we got this with the idea I was going to make Chase wear this thing. This is really, really bad. Even Chewbacca had a better dental plan than this guy. Chewbacca mask! <laughs> it's okay that mine's not movie quality. Seriously, guys, though, we're going to show you this really cool project. There's some interesting snakes, and we're excited to work with them a little bit. Enjoy this Morphs 101, and happy Star Wars Day. All right, so this example is the absolute best Wookiee I've ever seen. I've only seen a really, really few regular Wookiees and this thing is just amazing with its chocolate, kind of blushed out, weird pattern, um, all the different colors um, and shades of, of gold and brown it brings in. This is really an amazing example and it's really cool how this gene combines with some of the other combos. Uh, we're gonna look at, take a look at a few of those now. We have a couple combos of this um, awesome morph to show, and it's really, really, really cool what it can do. Um, so this is a butter Wookiee, and you see the effect of that gene on the butter is just very, very, very extreme, and quite a really cool look. Um, mostly this gene is very untapped, but we have, just have a couple combos to look at um, as far as what can be done and what, it, what kind of... Uh, influence it has on different morphs and so far just based on this one animal it seems like it has a really really cool impact on the BEL complex on the uh, the butter in this case really really cool it's amazing how faded those sides are you have the floating dots essentially at the very very top just incredible so this is a boy I look forward to using him in the future It'd be interesting to try to how to bring out more pattern, more deep darkness on this. Very, very, very interesting palette to work with. Okay, this is the absolute coolest Wookiee pro project animal that that um, I've ever seen, and is very, very excited to acquire this animal. It's a black pastel, um, yellow belly Wookiee, and has a really neat. Um, it has a similar effect. You see the again, you have the the fade on the sides. The raising of the alien heads a similar effect as it did with the lesser, but of course the black pastel brings in a ton of really awesome darkness to it. Really incredible what that did. Um, you know, as you guys know, I like the dramatic looking snakes. I mean, I like I don't want um, snakes that don't have any contrast or any darkness to them. I think it's really really cool to be able to work with snakes that are both both the dark side and the light side. A good uh, Star Wars reference there. But uh, Wookiee seems to be a really interesting project. I think it's got a lot of potential. And just working with a few animals from it, I'm really excited about what we could potentially do with this gene in the future, including maybe a super form if that's possible. Maybe it's genetics, maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> this is like Wookiee meets deliverance right here. Seriously, Chase, this is the last time we're buying a mask from a guy in a van in the Walmart parking lot, okay? 